I greet you all, my viewers, wherever you are. My name is Flora Jeptum Buzu. I'm here once again welcoming you to watch my, to listen to what I have to tell you in my YouTube channel. I want to thank all those that have supported me, all those that have subscribed, all those that are viewing, all those that are liking and giving me words of encouragement. I appreciate and I'm very grateful. I now welcome you, all that have not done any of those subscribe subscriptions, um, uh, liking, or even viewing. I request that when you view, you view to the end and that you will have supported me by even sharing and uh, to other people so that they may, they may understand and even get to know what I'm up to. I told you I'm a person living with disability and my duty here is to speak to the many silent for the many silent uh, persons living with disability that are in our villages in 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 the African continent today I want to discuss about uh, persons living with disabilities that immediately they are born, they have, they have, they have ridden off, or they have just buried them alive, or they have killed them. We have so many incidences that I'm going to share that at some point there are some leaders in our African continent that have literally killed persons living with disability. I want to, to share about what used to happen during those days, before the coming of the missionaries, to come and, and enlighten us on, on how to handle these issues. In some African communities, if a child is born with some sort of dis deformity, I want to, to, to tell you that those, they were, they were killed immediately. What they used to do, they used to use cow dung. And they will stuff the cow dung in their mouths. And even in their nostrils. And they will be left to die. And then they are buried. And nobody will ever know that there was a person living with disability in that homestead. Persons with disabilities in some communities, if a child has acquired disability, maybe after she, the child was born, like in my case, I acquired disability when I was three years old, as a result of polio attack, you will discover, you will, you, such, in such cases, they will live with that child. But at some point, <laughs> we, 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 we have some communities, uh, some communities that are nomadic. What they will do is just, they will have to, uh, to abandon them. 
in their houses when they are running away or when they are just moving for, for, for greener pastures for their cows in the field so they will have to, to leave that child, that person living with disability just to, to just to die of starvation no food nobody around to attend to such a person they are left to die so unfortunate and i want to tell you my viewers this is still going on in our in our communities and especially in the nomadic communities they will just leave them there and just forget about them i want to to share of some other incidences where there is war uh in our in our country we have uh, uh, these uh, 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 these uh, these uh, communities that are fighting with one another, cattle rustlings, and sometimes they they sometimes war fighting among themselves, and sometimes some families could be having some persons living with disability. What they will do is just in the process of running and taking refuge, they will only. Those who have, uh, those who are, have legs, those who are complete, they will take off and leave their 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 persons with disabilities just in the, just in 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 in, in those houses. Leave them there, and they run to for safety, to save themselves and forget their persons living with disability. Now, the other cate category that are left as a result of war are the old people, the aged. Now, that is a form of that is a, a form of disability. When you are getting old, you reach a point where you are not able to to support yourself. You are not able to even to walk out and take some chance shine. You find yourself uh, just being assisted to be taken out. And these are the kind of people that some, when, when war bre breaks out, they are left. Those who are able to run, they are left there and they just die. A slow death as a result of hunger as a result of stress and others all sorts of all sorts of uh, maybe disease yes so my dear viewers this is what used to happen and even sometimes it's still happening in our communities we are just left to die. I want to thank God that I'm very lucky. And some of us are lucky that uh, we are alive today. And we are alive to tell this story. And to, to notify you what is happening in our communities. Let me tell you another type of... Uh, how, how they, the, 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 the persons with disabilities are gotten rid of. If a child is born in a homestead, uh, I told you, we are, our, 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 our African communities are very superstitious. They, they believe in, they believe in curses. They believe in in some sort of uh, calling it a, a bad omens, if a child is born in our communities, it is a bad omen. And sometimes some of our parents would not want to really expose us because of 
against stigma, discrimination. If a family has a child with a disability, there is some discrimination, some sort of discrimination. So sometimes for fear of discrimination, for fear of being laughed at, or even, even getting intermarriage. For example, if, 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 if you want to marry, if you have a child with disability or there, there is no history of disability in your, in your family. You'll, you'll find that it will be very difficult for you to go and marry a certain family from a certain family because they will say that family is cast. Wamela <laughs> Aniwa. So you sometimes that family may, may never even get married or they may never get spouses because for fear of it is a family that is cast. So this is what has happened. Um, they have decided to lock them up. If a child is born, if they don't kill that child, they are locked up. So in, in our communities here, there are so many families that have locked up their, their, their children with disabilities or people. Some of them are even encouraged not to be not to show themselves before the people. I've gone to a certain function where a man introduces his family and he parades his children and he and he and, and he introduces his children and says the second born he has a first born who is a disabled child. And then this guy decides to introduce his, his, his children. And he says the second born, who is supposed to be second born, he tells the crowd that this is my first born. I happen to know that there was a child in that family who is the first born and who is, who, 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 who is being locked somewhere. So when I had I had the, the 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 parent saying that my firstborn is the secondborn, and because I knew, I felt so bad, I became so sick, I I I became so discouraged. I even didn't want again to continue staying in that homestead, because I felt that was me. It was me that was that was being. It, it is my disability that is causing. And we are not recognized. We are not recognized at all, at all. So recognition is not there. So we we have, we are going through a, a lot, a, 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 through a lot as persons living with disability. I want to talk about our neighboring country like Uganda. There is a time that uh, so, there is something that Idi Amin Dada, the former president of Uganda, the late. When I was young, I wasn't so young, but this is the story I had. Idi Amin one time saw Persons living with disability as a menace in his country. And what he did was that he, 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 he decided to cheat persons living with disabilities. And told, them, told him that he was going to take them, them into some good place. Or even to give them something for their upkeep or whatever promises he made. And he packed them in some lorries. You see, this deeper, deeper, these lorries that 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 pours itself, that carries sand, 
and it can easily it it pours down whatever they they have carried. This is what Idi Amin did from Uganda. It is in the public domain. He went round collecting all persons with disabilities. And he decided to go to, to River Nile, somewhere around Ginger. And Idi Amin was pouring them into the river. He simply poured them into the river. And he got rid of all persons with disabilities in Uganda. A very painful thing. That, sh that goes to show that we are, sometimes we are not wanted in our communities. I want to say this, that uh, people, we, we people forget that disability is not something that you look for it yourself. It happens. Like in my case, even I didn't know that, that, uh, that I was disabled until I was three years, um, for five years is when I knew Kumbe. I was attacked by polio. That is, I, I just got it as a story from my parents. I found myself going on my, on my knees. It is not our making. It is not our, our, our decision to acquire this, this disability. And I want to say that these others can, these other, anybody can acquire this disability. Dear viewers, I, I want to, that is how persons living with disabilities were gotten rid of. Now, during our time, things have changed a bit. We, 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 we can get education. Some of us have been, have gotten education. Kibati Bahati. But the majority of us are still in our home states. We, we never got any education. And those who never got the education, they are, they are, they, they are still in their home states. They have, they have nothing. What is killing them is poverty. They are very poor. No attention on them. No, 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 nothing. Their lives is, it is a life of frustrations. Those who never went to school, if they are ladies, they have been, they have been given children. They have been raped, or even if they are not raped, but they have been given children. Some of them, you see women with up to 10 children. No family planning was done. And these children have different, different fathers. Nobody wants to marry them. They are just their object of sex. So when you feel like you want as a man, you know where to go. And you leave that child, that lady in a deplorable situation. I want to encourage you that is how we are in a mess. We are never we 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 we've been we are forgotten lot. We are treated as third class citizens in this land. Now, for us who who got an opportunity to go to school, 
Those of us who got an opportunity to, 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 to go to school, it is even difficult for us even to make it again in life. Because we don't get some, some form of job opportunities. We are discriminated against. Because they look at us and they think maybe we can we may not perform or work in the in the way that they I mean just like any other. So we go to school, but we end up again sitting at home. <laughs> and uh <laughs> And then we, we, we also, be, we are poor. We, poverty is, is, it will be the order of the day for us persons with living with disability. There is no inclusion in all public sectors. Working environment is not even conducive. There is a lot of discrimination because of accessibility. Sometimes I may want to go and look for a job somewhere. But because of accessibility in our African cities. We are locked out. You cannot go to, 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 to see an officer. In a, a third floor or fourth floor building, not even the first floor, you find yourself hanging outside there. What is that? What is what is that to us? We are frustrated in life. We don't know where we don't we don't know. We we our lives are just Useless beings. So this is how persons living with disabilities life are so deplorable. I request our governments all in all African countries I know this message will reach the leaders of these nations to consider consider making an environment infrastructure for persons living with disabilities to be able also to, 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 to participate in nation building and become better citizens of these lands. It is my prayer that those in leadership positions to consider my prayer, to consider putting, putting down policies that will cater, cater for persons living with disabilities. We need good education we, didn't, we need accessibility in these learning institutions. We need good infrastructure so that it can help us. We need inclusivity, inclusivity, inclusivity in all sectors. Job opportunities. We need consider, consider us. I am Speaking on behalf of my fellow PWDs who cannot speak. I know what they are going through. And that's why I've decided to talk. And open up and tell you what is happening. What persons living with disabilities are going through. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you. For subscribing to my YouTube channel, Flora J2 Media. Continue supporting me, guys. I love you. Thank you.